Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars with a 1964 Chevrolet C10. This one's got a V8 with a three-speed on the column. And I think all the gauges are working except the oil pressure gauge needs to be hooked up. And I forgot to do that before I did this video. I think it just needs to be screwed on. I know when you turn the lights on, when the brights are on, the little brights work, which is kind of cool. Well, we're gonna take this thing for a quick spin and I'll show you around the truck. I actually spent a little time driving this truck around. Nice, strong um, V8. The shifter was one that backed up just a hair on, on me. Might need to be uh, greased up a little bit. I'll do that when we get back to the shop. Sometimes those shifters hang up just a hair. they got little grease fittings on them. But I have been driving the truck around. It drives nice and straight. I'd like to show maybe just that much you know play in the steering i like to keep my finger up like that so you can see driving straight now that's me moving my finger <laughs> not the steering wheel really smooth speedometer works i'm not touching the steering wheel right now and i'm braking nice and straight it doesn't pull to the left or right shift into reverse and it's acting a little sticky there well we need to mess with that oh that was my bad okay that was my fault i wasn't pushing the clutch in all right there we go well there you go real time you got me real time shifting here so Here's the e-brake is not hooked up, so I don't want to falsify that. So now she's still rolling just a little bit. Okay. Having a sloppy video on this one, but that's okay. Because I'd rather it just be real. I'm not going to go back and do a retake nice sounding engine and you know that's the thing about these old trucks i've been driving this truck and haven't had any problems with it and now shifter wants to hang up a little bit all right listen to that engine so clean i am going to turn her off put it into gear Come back and take a look under the hood. Inner fender wells are clean, straight, and rust free, as well as a firewall. Now, I do have the heater for this, it was removed. I'm not sure if it's leaking, but it's going to come with the truck. We'll just put it in the bed. You can see there's a heater hose here to attach to it. Um, aluminum radiator that's brand new, aftermarket, brand new four core aluminum radiator. And the truck runs awesome. Um, Nice looking, just clean, you know, simple valve covers with a matching Chevrolet air cleaner. A couple little spots here and there on this truck. It's got a patina on it. When you lift up the hood, a little bit of, little bit of filler right there on the corner. A couple little rusty spots on the edges. A little bit of fiberglass there. This truck is not all rusted out. This is a super cool truck, actually. I really love this. I love this patinaed paint job. It's a blue, it's been sanded through, satin clear coat, just white tie, uh, the white wheels just really make it pop. Of course, some high, hot rod wheels make it pop too. Some 18s or gunmetal gray wheels is what I thought about putting on it and lowering it three inches. And that will look awesome too. Steel uh, diamond plate in the back. A little spot of rust up there. I'll get a little closer there in a minute the bed of this thing it's awesome or the tailgate i mean uh, man i'd hang that tailgate on my wall it looks so cool really straight body love the fleet sides seem to be just a little bit more desirable than the step sides the fleet sides are and uh i don't know i feel like they're a little bit harder to find i find a lot of step sides not as many fleet sides harder to find those big back windows too there's that rust spot i was talking about and then a couple of rust holes here in the back of the bed 
bottoms of the doors got a little bit of a couple of little spots of rust on them spot right there with a hole there's a couple holes there and they make a bottom of the door patches actually LMC truck good place to get stuff windows roll up and down easily glass is in good shape the fit felts here are missing so it could stand to have a new set of felts put in there and that keeps the window from from moving They're not very expensive that'd be a cool thing to do all the glass in the truck is in great shape and uh, weather stripping is in good really really good shape no cracks in the glass anywhere I believe the uh, wipers on this one work too. Let me double check. Very good. Yeah. A little squeaky, but they work. Inside, headliner area, uh, all nicely painted. Somebody put some sort of uh, gator uh, skin there. I didn't even know that was like that. That's funny. Uh, so uh, tank still in the back behind the seat. Carpet's a little dirty because I didn't do as good a job vacuuming as that I should, but. I have been driving this truck. It's really fun to drive. Obviously, you're going to get all the looks everywhere you go. Original dash here. And I just really love the fact that they didn't uh, cut, you know, cut out the dash. It's got the delete plate. Looks really good. Underneath the truck. Nice and solid. These cab corners in the back look great. These are the pieces that usually rust. I've got another truck that, that has rusty rusty uh, cab supports on it. And uh, that's not unusual, but this is in really good shape. Uh, frame to cab uh, bolts and everything are in solid. I mean, the floor pans in this thing are awesome. Underneath that diamond plate, you can see the original wood. And if it was me, I'd probably take the diamond plate off. And, Go back with the original wood bed. They just look so good. I love them. Love original wood beds. Inner fender wells. It's a really minimal rust truck. No major rusty spots on it anywhere. Just a couple little spots like I pointed out. Rear end looks nice. The exhaust sounds great. Tires have good tread. I think they're older tires, but they still have good tread. and They look good. Got some Georgia red clay up in there, but I don't see any rust to speak of, really. <clears throat> Same on this side. Got a spot right here at the bottom. There's a hole there. But other than that, same as the other side. Nice solid floor pan. Man, these are in great shape. Oops, one little spot of rust down there. Cab to, cab to frame bolts are in awesome condition. I mean, all of the frame is in awesome condition. Oh, the sun decided to come back out. Little spot of rust in there. Not bad. Man, this thing has just got a cool patina. In my opinion, this truck doesn't need anything. I would just drive it the way it is. This one's really ready for the road, ready to be enjoyed. Um, engine just starts up so easily. The lights work. Uh, the horn does not. Uh, wipers work. You can hear they're a little squeaky. Maybe a, maybe they need a little grease or something. But uh, man, it is hot out here. We went from cloudy to to crazy. So, anyways, well, PeachtreeClassicCars.com, really cool fleet side C10 here. Uh, look forward to hearing from you.